What is up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here and for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this reality chat. <laughs> First, I just want to... I just want to start off by laughing at Hotel because he is just so freaking pathetic. The scene where they're at the the Houston Airbnb verbal, whatever it is, um, looking at this clown, he invites some I, I'm I'm not gonna say anything about the, the, the chick because I don't know her never seen her before but I'm just going to say based on the time of morning that she was allowed to come into the place by this clown she definitely seems to be a IG booty call that he met online because I don't care how much of a whore he is he doesn't strike me as the type of person that has holes in different area codes like Ludacris had wrapped years ago, right? So clearly this was an attempt to try to make his ex-wife jealous because to see him walking in there, he goes to get some of his Mad Dog 2020 that's in a bottle labeled I Nest wine okay <laughs> walking with these two glasses acting like he, this is some romantic interlude nigga please he's walking around hoping that he runs into melody and that she's going to feel some type of way that was clearly an attempt to try to make her jealous because why if you needed to get your rocks off so bad would you have this chick coming into the same place where she's staying versus meeting up at her place or going to a motel which is the the type of stuff that he does so it was just disrespectful but that's who he is so nothing is surprising about that but I just wanted to talk about that I'm not going to spend too much time on that because it's just ridiculous but listen I just wanted to get your thoughts on this and and, and share my thoughts because as much as I can't stand this wrinkled face goofball Marceau Letitia I mean her husband he's just ugly he's ugly on the outside and inside and she's ugly on the inside she's a beautiful woman but she doesn't see her worth so that's just extremely unattractive and then how she plays these games and doesn't take accountability and copies other people and just a lot of the different things that she has done that's just really shady I don't care for her and it makes me see her ugliness coming out from the inside but anyway her husband honestly was kind of right now I'm not saying I agree with him but this little fight that they were having it's her fault because she already knew one that she wasn't pregnant she didn't go to the doctor she took a pregnancy test when she and Kimmy went to the Yoni steam place right and that was just a scene that was something to make a conversation to have something else to talk about because they don't really talk that much about the real things that are going on in their business and in their business life with these different lawsuits that are going on the fraud that Melody mentioned, you know, we see them every now and then at the Black Cigar Lounge or they're inside of a building that they're having renovated or he's renovating the rental home that they were staying in that she moved into an apartment in the meantime until they can figure out what's going to be going on with Scott Manor, which we don't really hear much about anymore. But anyway, she brought this on herself. Now, <laughs> The fact that Hotel is playing mind games with Marcel, which is nothing shocking, you know, because when they had that conversation about wives and these two losers, the liars and cheaters of Huntsville, 
talking about 99% of wives are unfaithful. Where the hell did they get that statistic? First of all, that's clearly not true. It's clearly not true. And two, hotel making insinuations about how Letitia got her body done and she's dressing more provocatively and whatever. So he needs to put her rein in on her and put her back in the house because she might be outside too much. This is the type of stuff that really makes me hate these guys that are representatives of Huntsville right now being on this show. Because it's like, do all the men in Huntsville think like that? I, I mean, I know that's not the case, but it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. But for Letitia to act like she knows so many people who got pregnant when their spouse had a vasectomy, she knows that's not true. I'm not saying that vasectomies don't fail because they can, but let's not act like she knows a lot of people whose husband had a vasectomy and the wife got pregnant. She knows that that's not the case. And two, she knows how he is. So she never should have even brought that up to him, period. Now, yeah, if they aired it because she doesn't know what's going to hit the cutting room floor and what's going to be aired. So it's not like she knew that he was going to see it on the show because that could have been a scene that got cut and they didn't even show it, but they did. So some may say, well, she had to say something because she knows that he would eventually have seen it on the show. Well, she didn't 100% know that. So... But her having this conversation with him about her possibly being unfaithful and saying, well, would I ride for you and you wouldn't ride for me. Well, he is not, she knows he's not that type of person because he can cheat all day long and expect her to stay there. And she would maybe not happily on the inside, but on the outside act like she is just believing her man and standing by her man and she's going to stand by him. But he's not her. He really doesn't care about anyone but himself. And I'm just surprised that she's acting like she didn't already know that. Hell no. You don't even watch your own kids. Y'all be safe, though. Right. My show would not be watching the baby. Right. You sure you don't want Marshall to watch the baby until y'all get back? No, nah, he don't want to watch his own kids. My show would not be watching the baby. The last time I remember feeling that way, I was pregnant. Bake, 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 bake. Why are everybody talking about marshmallow babies? So who did you tell, TJ? Tell what? About the conversation you had with me earlier. What's that doing with these things? That has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Oh, do you want another baby, Tisha? Okay, so I've been sick. Like, last time I was sick like this, I was pregnant. So I took a pregnancy test. Okay. And I just told my son about it. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? I have a vasectomy. Does it matter, Marcel? It's a shame that if I tell you I, I took a person and said the first thing you think about, oh, she cheated on me. Like, you could think, oh, maybe my vasectomy failed. Because I have faith. Happens, faith, I, have faith I have faith in you, so, but I also have faith in modern science. Tisha. He has a vasectomy, so it would be reasonable yes. for the thought to go through yes. his mind. But is it 100%? Physiologically, in the medical world, I can see Marceau's hesitation uh, alongside with that. There have been various rumors and innuendos in the community about Marceau that she blindly has to trust. So now it's his turn to just trust your wife. Do you not trust me? Babe, I don't trust why you took birth control. No, 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 babe. It's no. yes, I trust you, and no, I don't trust you. I have a lot of trust for you. But you don't trust me? I think after today, some questions raised. He trusts you as much as he trusts himself, baby. Don't you worry about it. No. But I've never given you any reason not to trust me. Well, a pregnancy Taking a pregnancy test. That'll do it. Right now, you can tell I can smile for anything. Because right now, this is not how I feel. I was experiencing vertigo when I was in the room earlier. I'm probably not going to get a lot of sleep tonight. No, you're not about to make this a big deal to use it as an excuse. She ain't cheated on you. It's a small percentage you could have got her pregnant. Now leave her alone. Now leave her alone. I can't believe they got guys in the world that believe this stuff. Believe what, Marcel? What you're saying. 
Like, hold up a second, it's not, not 100%. It's not. Well, that's a true statement. I, mean, look, I get that. But I'm going to believe in the 99.999%. Not your wife. Not me. The person he claimed that he would made a commitment to, provide, protect. You don't believe me. You don't trust me. Not over modern science, baby. Okay. Mm. I mean, she done believed and trusted you through a back photo, through not directly answering if you oh, cheated or not. Is there any truth about the 20 girlfriends? You want to know if there's some truth to that? Yes. Baby, I can't answer that for you. Martell said, um, Marceau brought Melon some wine and didn't bring him none. What happened if I did? Somebody took a picture of you in the bed and all this. I want to know directly from you, was it or was it not? You'll never have a single receipt on anything. I believe your word. So whatever you tell me, I believe what you're saying. So I want the same from you. You want me to have blind trust for you, but you don't have blind trust for me. I'm praying with everything I got that this is just a simple, crazy moment. And it's over. It's not over. It's a present. It's here now. Yes, it is. It's negative. So it don't matter. You men can go continue that conversation on your own. We women are going to go elsewhere. Okay, so you heard, <laughs> out of all the people, Melody was the one that had her back the most. Now, Kimmy, she tried to play the the middle line and talk about as a medical professional, you know, I understand. Mar- Girl, you know what I mean? She knows that Tisha has not been out here screwing around on her husband. So for her to play that middle position, Kimmy, it, it annoyed me, but Melody said, okay, but she believed you through you not answering directly the question, have you cheated, Uh, an alleged photo of you and your back being in a bed with somebody else, but this is something that you're going to try to make into a thing. But again, Tisha knows the dude that she's with, and for her to expect this to be anything different than what it would be with him is just asinine so again I'm not saying that he's right but I'm saying she knows the man that she's with and she chose to continue to be with this clown well why you rolling your eyes I didn't roll my eyes I didn't roll your eyes yeah you did yeah I see you roll your eyes at me what's up with that Nothing. No, Marcel, it's something. Nothing. Yeah, it's something. T, nothing. All right, let's just go to bed. No, we're not. Because you don't go to bed angry. You don't go go to bed with the miscommunication. I'm confused. Why are you confused? (sighs) Well, I'm confused that... I'm confused that how I'm the... I'm the... I'm the person in the wrong in this. You said that you don't trust me. And it's so weird to me because out of all the... The people have said about you, put out about you. Not for one time did I come to you and be like, I don't trust you. You act as if y'all ain't haven't slept with a 20, 20 women. I haven't. Have you ever rent an apartment with Martell? If I had a secret, you think I'd tell you? Did Marcel go to Vegas with you? He did not. He actually went on a bachelor trip to Colombia. That's like the brothel place. Evidently, one night... This other girl went out to the club, and the two of them hooked up with Marso. The only one thing I want from you is you to believe in me. Of course, if I find out that my husband is cheating on me, I would be devastated. At the end of the day, the only thing you can do is trust your husband. I'm your wife, and I have been faithful to you. I have never given you a reason to doubt me. No, 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 no. I've never given you a reason to doubt me. No, no, you're confusing the situation. So you never thought about, oh, maybe the vasectomy didn't work. So you automatically assumed that I would cheat on you. And that's what's hurtful for me. This is, this is, this is gaslighting its finest. It's not gaslighting. I'm telling you how I feel. Okay. Uh, Listen, okay. You didn't marry the kind of guy that has emotional intelligence to the point where when his wife takes a pregnancy test, he automatically thinks, oh my God, my vasectomy didn't work. I'm not that guy. Apparently you're not. I'm not that guy. Apparently you're not. And I have to just rethink everything. Think it Because, and now you want to be a smarty 
Yeah, and I'm not being smart ass. I'm saying I'm, I'm telling you. Absolutely, being a smart I'm telling you that definitely, I'm not that guy. The one time hey, he had the opportunity to even ride for me like I ride for you. He's just not the same thing. Down. He's not even close to the same thing. Yeah, I know math. I know math. I know, I know proportions. I'm believing in you. No, ma'am. And then you want to turn around and be like, oh, no, well, ma'am. if it is, then that means you stepped out on me. What the who the you think I am? No, I'm who saying you think I am? the thought that you. Th- who do you think I am? Because I do know who I am. Obviously, you don't know who I am. Yes, and obviously. that's something I have to consider. This is gaslighting. It's not it gaslighting. Is. So you don't realize. You know what I'm, mad at me. I'm on my way to the pool, and as I pass by Marcel and Tisha's room, I hear a commotion, and I'm getting really concerned about what's going on in there. You hurt my feelings. You hurt my feelings, Tisha. Okay, fine. I'm about to go sleep over here. I'm not sleeping here. I'm not sleeping here. No, who is that? I don't know. But you, he can have this room to himself. Tisha. I'm sleeping over here. Don't let and it I don't really... The truth is, I understand both of y'all. Hey, 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 hey. Marissa, I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. No, no, Marissa, I don't need I'm this. I'm I get that. I don't need this. Like, what's up, Tisha? How are you get no conversation? Tisha, Tisha, the, the real talk. I, this is for real. I understand your perspective. Mm-hmm. Probability... Vasectomies won't fail. But Maurice, I'm not even thinking about the vasectomy. I'm thinking about I'm sick. And so the 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 symptoms that I was having are the same ones I had when I was pregnant. So I'm like, let me take a pregnancy test. I'm not thinking about cheating. I've never cheated. That's not me. That's not and me. then but then guess the reason I'm so disappointed in Marcel because that's the first thought that comes to your mind. No, 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 no. Like, what the you know what I'm saying? What you did was omitted the you, you weren't thinking about that he had a vasectomy. And I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm thinking okay. about what, why I'm sick. Listen, I get what you're saying. And I even asked Marceau. I said, Marceau, the last time that she experienced these same emotions, these same type of feelings, all the rest of that stuff, was she pregnant? Right. You know what he said? Yes. yes. Exactly. So I understand where you're coming from. I really do. No, gonna, but I took the pregnancy so I can... I can it's that out. That's not the problem. So let me move on to something else. So now I have an appointment with my doctor so he can do some blood work that's so he can figure out what's the problem. That's true. I don't like the fact that my husband, the first reaction is like, oh, you cheated on me. No, no, cheated. Because why does cheating always have to come to the front line? He's playing probability, not possibility. I'm I, get I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I guess I'm, I'm just hurt and I'm just disappointed. That's all that, I'm saying. That, I'm just hurt and that's disappointed. That's, that's, that's it. Fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's it. So I'm about to go take go a shower and go to sleep. All right. So. The fact that she's hurt and disappointed is on her because she already knows who she's with. And the fact that cheating was the first thing that came to his mind about her is because that's the life that he has lived. I don't know how often. I don't know how many times. It really doesn't matter because all it takes is once. And we already know that most men cannot take if a woman has been cheating on them that's why we know that hotel is a freaking liar when it comes to mel and trying to make it seem like she was cheating on him because we know that that narcissistic ass clown he would not have been staying there if she was unfaithful to him period we already know that so the fact that that's the first thing that came to his mind and that he accused her of doing if she felt like she was pregnant and took a pregnancy test or whatever is because I would venture to say because he got that vasectomy years ago so that he couldn't get anyone else pregnant. None of the people that he's been with has turned up pregnant. So why would his wife? Plain and simple. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to talk about that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Guys, thank you so much for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I just wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.